In this FL Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you a few secret preset patches inside of FL Studio's patcher that can help you sound design Harmer. If you're not familiar with what Harmer is, Harmer is the flagship synthesizer for FL Studio. I personally own FL Studio Producer Edition. You wouldn't be able to get Harmer unless you purchase the full bundle package or if you purchase Harmer as a separate plugin, which is what I did. When you do purchase Harmer as a separate plugin, you can actually use it inside of any DAW. So I also have Ableton, so I'm able to use Harmer inside of Ableton as well. But at first glance, when looking at Harmer, you'll notice that this is a very unconventional synthesizer. You'll notice a lot of sections that other synthesizers don't have. For example, this blur section, or this prism section, or this harmonizer section. These aren't your traditional synthesizer options inside of your VSTs. It doesn't just stop there. Down here at the bottom, you'll see that there's an imager. Any of you that are using Serum or have been using Serum heavily, Serum also has this option, but it's relatively new in the music production world where you can actually input images and create sounds from those images. The reason you see these other settings, it's because Harmer uses what's called partials to create the sound. It uses a bunch of sine waves, and by adding those sine waves together, you can create saw waves or square waves or triangles, and that's exactly what Harmer accomplishes and why it sounds different from other synths. But while it does sound different, it's actually able to achieve a lot of the same sounds that you could get in your typical subtractive synthesizer. So it's completely capable of doing all of that. But because of the sound engine and the way that they actually designed the synth, that's the reason why we're able to get these blur options, the prism option, and the harmonizer option. But still, all of that stuff might be over your head. Well, FL Studio has a plugin called Patcher. And inside of Patcher, if you load this up into the channel rack, you can actually pull up additional instruments that are built into Patcher as presets. So if you click on presets here, I actually have quite a few saved on my own, and you go to XYZ Labs, you'll see these options right here. Now there's only five specific options that actually are designed specifically for Harmer, but you can go into any of these options and replace the synthesizer with Harmer or any of the synthesizers that you actually want to use. However, for Harmer specifically, I recommend checking out these five. And don't worry, I'm going to do an in-depth tutorial on each of these presets so that you really understand how to take advantage of each one. This first one is called AeroPad. And if you go into the map here, you'll see that it does indeed use Harmer here. But let's not get too confused with what all of this is. I'll go back to that in a second. But this layout is basically meant for you to quickly sound design pad sounds inside of Harmer. So if I actually open up Harmer here and move this over to the side, this could actually help you learn how to use Harmer. You'll notice as I move this around, all of the knobs and settings inside of Harmer that are mapped to the setting will move as well. So this is controlling the frequency cutoff and the resonance of our first filter. But let me just play the sound as is, and then I'm gonna move the filter around. So keep in mind that you don't have to just use the arrow pad to manipulate Harmer here. Once you do get familiar with Harmer, you could go in and change the distortion. You could change the timbre, the actual wave shapes that we're using. We're using a saw wave and a square wave or something really similar to that, I should say. You could add blur amounts, prism and harmonizer. You can add more unison. I will have an in-depth tutorial on Harmer in general with those sections, but for now, let's take a look at what we can adjust with our arrow pad here. And I'm just gonna move around some knobs and sliders so that you could get an idea of the overall palette that this preset is capable of.
So if you're looking to design some luscious pads with Harmer, this is definitely a go-to preset inside of Patcher that can achieve that sound for you very, very quickly. And then you could go into Harmer itself and adjust any of these settings to really dial in the sound that you're looking for. Let's go to the next one, Layer More. This might be one of my favorite ones. This actually layers four Harmers together. If we go into the map here, you could click on any of these four and you'll see they're designated to different things. We have a pluck here, a respace, a dirty synth, and a wub synth. So if I pull up the wub synth right now and go into the controls, you'll see this wub option right here. So this is controlling the wub synth. I'm also gonna turn this down because you'll notice that this is really, really loud because this compression is turned all the way up for some reason. But let's go ahead and listen to what this sounds like with it on default with the volume turned down because otherwise it would be way too loud. Go ahead and fix this compression. I'm just gonna turn it all the way off. So this instance of Harmer is controlling the wub. I can control the volume of that right here. So I could turn this all the way down and we won't hear it. And then as I increase the volume, you'll hear more wub. And you could even pan this left or right. But I'm just going to quickly let you listen to each of these. Again, I will have an in-depth tutorial on Layer More, but for now I just want you to listen to what this can do. I'm going to turn off the wub, the pluck, and the modulation here, and we're just going to listen to the keys. Let's change it to poly. So now we could play chords. Remember, that's just one layer. So let's go ahead and add this pluck in. I'm just going to decrease the volume and then we're going to add it in. Same thing with the mod. Turn this all the way down, add it in. Same thing with the wub. Again, I will do an in-depth tutorial on Layer More where we go in and make some really nice patches with this. Next one up, we have Resor. And this is basically a Respace slash Lead Synth synthesizer, or preset, I should say. Let's go into the map and you'll see Harmer here. Slide that over and I just wanna show you what this is changing inside of Harmer as we increase this setting. Here's what it sounds like on default. <laughs> Definitely a good solid patch to start off with, but pay attention to what this changes as I increase this knob. Let's take a look at the effects page as I do that, because I'm pretty sure more effects are being changed here. So we're getting extra compression, a lot more distortion. We're increasing the pre-fader, which will absolutely drive the original signal into the distortion more. We're changing the unison pitch, which will make the unison sound a lot thicker. So just that alone teaches you a lot about how to get a bigger, fatter sound with Harmer. Just paying attention to what this knob is adjusting for you. Again, future tutorial on Reezer coming up. Next one up, we have Vocatcher. Now this is perfect for you EDM guys that like to do vocal chops or whatever genre that you're working with where you wanna add vocal chops. Let me pull up Harmer again. Go back into the controls. A lot of knobs here, but I will explain them all in a future Vocatcher tutorial here coming up within the next couple weeks. But let's listen to what it sounds like on default. Mm -hmm. 
So with Vocatcher, they're actually using the imager that I was telling you about. And with this imager, we actually have a vocal here. And you can see that they set up loop points here so that it infinitely loops. Well, let's just go ahead and change some of the settings here real quick. And last but not least, we have the Wobbler. Now this thing is absolutely insane, especially if you're doing EDM. So let's go back into the map. I'm gonna pull up Harmer again so that you can see what's going on as I move these controls. And I'm just gonna let you listen to what this sounds like on default. Really simple, we got a wobble bass going on. It's just controlling the cutoff frequency and the resonance here and the volume. Again, in-depth tutorial on this coming soon, but I'm just gonna change some of the settings so that you can hear what this thing is capable of. And just like that, with this one preset, we were able to modulate all of this. There's no way you would be able to route all of this in the amount of time that Patcher has already done it for you to get this effect. So for me personally, whenever I'm making some EDM and I need a nice wobble bass, this is my go-to. I don't even try to design from scratch. I just go to this patcher preset every single time. I just use the wobbler, I use Reezer, I use the layer more, and off of that, I might add an additional synth to layer on top of Harmer. One that I'm more familiar with, or one that's more traditional. So I might use a more traditional subtractive synthesizer like a Silent, or a Wavetable synthesizer like a Pigments 2 or maybe a vintage synthesizer, like something from the Analog Collection from Arturia. I've done videos on all of those synths before, so definitely check those out if you haven't already. Again, I'm gonna break down each of these patcher presets in more detail, and then I'm gonna show you how to exactly sound design some really awesome sounds using these presets. So subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.